budgets forecasts and management accounts for small business. So as in this video, I want to look into why a small business would do budgets, forecasts and management accounts, what they're for, how they're produced, um, so we can just have a, a little look into all that sort of thing. I do regular updates on tax and accounting issues, so if you'd like to be kept up to date, please uh, subscribe to the channel, you'll be very welcome. And pressing the like button really helps me and the channel. What management accounts, or this isn't this all the sort of thing, budgets, isn't it all the sort of thing that you started a small business away from a big company so you could get away from it? Well, yes, to some extent, that is the, the case. But once your business grows, so from you being in charge of absolutely everything to having other people in charge of things, then you might find that having, looking at your accounts regularly, having budgets so that you can compare and uh, looking at your management accounts can become um, a really important part of your monthly or quarterly routines. Um, and you might want to do that to make sure that you improve your profitability and you get to where you want to go as a business. So let's have a look. So to start with, what are management accounts? So management account is just a, so it's a profit and loss. So it's all of your revenues and all of your costs and hopefully also a balance sheet. So a balance sheet is really a bit of an accounting thing. Um, we sort of trip out on it, but it's important. The balance sheet is important because it's, it's where all the double entry bookkeeping goes on and ends up. Um, and actually if, if things can stray into your balance sheet, so unless you look at your balance sheet, you'd really can't be sure that the profit and loss account is correct. So it is important actually to have a balance sheet and I would say that because I am an accountant and from the balance sheet, you can have a look at your cash flows and see how the cash is mo moving through your business because a common thing um, that uh, small business owners don't understand is I'm making all this money, where is it? Uh, because it might be leaching out to the tax man it might be leaching out into investment into your stock, all sorts of things. And the secret to that is in your cash flow and your balance sheet, as opposed to your profit and loss account. So, they can, so management accounts can be really important, particularly once you aren't in charge of every single transaction and you don't order everything. I quite look like looking at quarter on quarter accounts because for me, quarter on quarter, so monthly, it's like, well, things, you know, in a small business, they change hugely from, from, one, uh, from one month to another just through stuff that happens. But actually quarter by quarter, you can see some trends. And I'm very keen uh, in my own business that uh, our quarterly turnover is higher than the same quarter in the previous year and I look, like looking at, you know, over the last year, how have we done compared to the last year? And that gives you a, a very uh, a very honest, sometimes a brutal um, view of, you, of your business. And I think within, um, so what do you look at in, in management accounts? Well, you can, you can look at, um, you know, are costs higher than you expected? Are they, how are they changing? Have you, are you spending too much money on things? Have you uh, not included all your bills? Um, are, is your revenue high enough? And uh, are, you, are you driving that top line revenue growth? All of those things. So I think in a small business, it's particularly important to compare it to previous years. And I think the trend for pre from previous years is actually, I always look at, and I think it's more important than a budget. So why would you do a budget and a forecast for future years? Well, the, like the cynical answer to that is because the bank needed it to, um, to give you a loan. Well, if the bank needs something to do a loan, yes, it is an administrative task that you need to do, uh, but that's really not what this video is about because this is actually about how it can add value to your business. So why would you do a budget? So I like doing a forecast because, first of all, it's very easy to just get into the routine of paying certain things and not challenging them. So if you have a look through all of your costs when you prepare um, your budget for of costs for the next year, then I think it really helps you think about 
um, whether you do actually should be spending all of that money and think about maybe cleverer ways of spending the money. So I think in terms of that, I think it, it, it's, um, it can, be, can be really useful. Um, and I think linked to that, I like to think, well, what profit should I have? So I have a percentage profit that I know accountants, the best accountancy practices should have. And I know what that percentage is. And so I, so you know what your, your profit is, uh, you, you know what your, your uh, sales are, um, forecast to be, you can, the main cost, things like rent and staff, you can, it can include, but then you can have a look at, can I afford all the things that maybe I'd like to have, but, um, but are they really required? And, and, and I can ask that in the context of, if I buy those things, will I get to my uh, percentage profit number that I know that I should have? And I know that, that number is important um, in, in terms of making the business sustainable into the future. And I think, yeah, you see, I think that within that, the, you see, I, I think that when you're in a, a small business owner, people are selling stuff to you all the time. And when they sell stuff to you, they're always saying that you buy our product and it'll make you more money. Um, I've heard that so many times. And the truth is, if I had bought all the things that would make me money and make me rich, I would have been bankrupt. Um, so, so reassessing some of those things that will make you rich, um, I think it is part of the budgeting process. And within that, um, if you do a budget properly with a with a balance sheet and a cash flow, then you can double check if things are tight. You can double check that you're going to have the cash flow uh, to meet your personal demands. Because it's small business, so the business's finances and your personal finances are joined at the hip. Um, so you can make sure that that all works. And what I also do is make sure that I understand, right, well, that works there, but what if I don't quite make the sales I'm hoping to do? And then I can think, well, if they don't make the sales I'm hoping to do, well, that I know that I need to look at this cost or this cost so that the, the cash still works through the business and I can uh, take out the money that I want to take out and leave money in the business that I want to leave in the business. So then I think the, the last thing I want to talk about is, um, is how often you might want to do uh, management accounts. Um, like the gold standard, the big company way is doing it monthly. Um, I do, so doing it monthly is possible, but it's, a lot, it's quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of uh, investment in your, your time if you do them monthly. Um, I think for a lot of small businesses, doing quarterly is, is good uh, because quarterly um, allows you to have enough time frame uh, where you can make decisions. Um, so you can do the quarter, make sure you're happy with it, make some decisions on the back of it, and quarterly is a reasonable time scale. I know that for a lot of businesses, like long-term planning is next month rather than next week, um, but, but by, by doing this process, um, and doing a, a proper sort of review of your accounts, you are extending that um, and, and hopefully thinking forward to uh, develop your business so that your business is the business you want it to be um, because it's your business and it's your choice. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more, to see more content on tax and accounting issues, then uh, please subscribe to the channel, you'd be very welcome, and pressing the like button helps me in the channel. Thank you.